Well, nearly 5,000 Mississippians have lost their lives to COVID-19, and the challenges continue for loved ones who have to deal with safety restrictions as they make funeral arrangements. With indoor gatherings limited to just 10 people, more cemeteries are now seeing larger on-site services. WCBI Stephen Pempo joins us in the studio with a story about difficult choices during this painful time. Stephen. That's right, Andrea. This past year has brought more burials than ever, and the staff at Memorial Garden Park Cemetery in Octibaha County has tried to balance people's safety while allowing them to grieve appropriately. It's just really sad when you can't properly say goodbye to a loved one because of the epidemic. Lula Davis has to bury her 25-year-old daughter, who passed away following a battle with leukemia. A heartbreaking tragedy at any time. It's been even more difficult during the COVID-19 pandemic. I don't want too many people there anyway because I'm afraid for their health. That has been the reality many families have faced in Mississippi. With indoor gatherings limited to 10 people or less, cemeteries like Memorial Garden Park in Octibaha County are seeing more and more large graveside ceremonies. Usually people will come out there, just a family, and you may have 20 people come out to a service, but now their whole funeral is happening right here on the grounds. Cemetery manager Russ Houston says they have had so many large services, the cemetery is expanding its parking areas. I can think of one that was a startable, well loved startable person there, and they were, we were packed here. There must have been 200 people here. While state orders require outdoor gatherings be limited to 50 people or less, Houston says the cemetery is not strictly enforcing that order. One person had a young child to die. And, and that one, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't enforce that. I'm just saying, she was in tears, you know, saying, well, I, I, my family is very large. I can't pick 20 people. He says he lets families know the guidelines, reminds people to wear masks, and leaves the rest to their judgment. Make sure everybody has a mask. I have said that. Whether they always obey those or not, you know, it remains to be seen. Most people that I've seen have had masks on. But Lula says she isn't taking any chances as she says goodbye to her daughter. That's what I hate about it, that I, she'll, she'll get a good send-off, but it won't be as it was before the COVID. Now, Houston also says they've seen a 25% increase in cremations as some families wish to hold on to their loved one's remains and wait for a time where they can safely hold the service they want to without any restrictions.